Greetings YouTube, Sega Zombie here and welcome to a channel update. Are you all Dreamcast out yet? <laughs> no, I've had an absolute blast. It's been a right buzz doing that mini series of the Sega Wall, all focusing on the UK full pal set of the Dreamcast. I'm really enjoying doing them videos guys. I hope you're enjoying them too. Um, it's been, had a great response. Um, I'm beavering away in the background on episode 3. I'm hoping to have that up real soon. And then I promise you guys there's only one more. Only one more episode to go. <laughs> so, um, And then the Sega will focus on some different Sega. Um, but then again I've got all the NTSC exclusives and the Japanese Dreamcast exclusives to go. Now I'll wait guys. I won't put you through all that. We'll wait, we'll let the Dreamcast settle a little bit. So you ain't all Dreamcast out and we will focus in the future on the NTSC and the Japanese stuff, it would be great. Um, where do I want to start with this update? Where I want to start is to say an absolute massive thank you to you guys. Wow, the channel's really taken off over the last few weeks. I know a major impact on that has been to Nintendo Arcade, Alex, and he done a fantastic room tour. We had a fantastic day, and it really comes across in the video. So go and check that out if you haven't, guys. But I know, Alex, you've done wonders for my channel, mate. It's done really well, and I've received so many subs. I looked, and I'm on 550. I never thought I was going to get to 500, to be honest. And to surpass that is absolutely amazing. And just in general, my views are going up. And it's been really humbling. And... I'm glad people are enjoying this. I'm glad people are watching, commenting, liking, um, because I absolutely love filming these. And I love sharing the passion I have for Sega and retro in general with you guys. I love you lot following my journey. You know, I'm documenting it all the way. I just wished I had started YouTube a few years ago. I really do. But hey ho, we're documenting it all now. And I just want to say an absolute massive shout out to you guys it's absolutely fantastic and that's really cheered me up through some tough times um, I've had a really tough week this week I'm not gonna go all into it and cause a sob story after that positiveness but I got my um, some of you will know that I am facing redundancy and I had my last day at work on Friday so that's sort of like it's made me feel a bit numb to be quite honest Friday was a, a roller coaster day of emotions there was anger, there was upset, there was hysterics, there was laugh, there was fond memories. Um, you know, I worked with 30 strong characters. Um, we had close relationships with some of those. You know, I got on really well with some guys, not so much others. <laughs> but, you know, it was a day of coming together and it was draining, guys. And to be quite honest, like I said, I'm feeling a bit numb, a little bit hazy on what my future is going to hold. And... Um, so I've been locking myself away, burying my head in the sand a little bit, as us men like to do. And I've just been gaming, guys. I've been up in the games room, and I've just been gaming away since Friday, really. Since i come home, that's all I've been doing. I've been playing some fantastic games, which I'm going to share with you guys, because they're new pickups. Um, but something real positive, and something I've really been holding on to, to really cheer me up, and just to escape the normalities of life, and that is Revival. Now, come on, guys. I want to know which one of you lot are going to Revival. I know a lot of tubers that are coming along. I'm not going to list them all off. Um, but let me know in comments, guys, who's coming along. And if you're going, please, if you see me, come and say hello. I love to chat. As you know how I waffle on in my videos. <laughs> but no, come and have a chat, guys. And I'm so buzzing about this. Last year... Go and check out the video from last year's revival. I went for the day with my good friend Pete. And we just couldn't fit it all in in one day. It was absolutely fantastic. And it was the first event like that I'd attended. So it was all a bit overwhelming. All those arcade machines and consoles set up. Ready to play. And to just speak. I spoke to so many people. So many people that I've been speaking to through Facebook youtube and to actually finally meet these people and put a face to a name when it comes to facebook and just to see the characters i've met on youtube and to see they're just the same in real life 
and I'm really looking forward to meeting more people. So please, in comments down below, guys, let me know if you're coming along. Um, yeah, it's the 15th and the 16th. We're advertising it like mad on Retro Realm. I'll leave a link below as well if I can where you can book the tickets. I know it's really crucial and Chris has said that it's crucial that you guys book your tickets early so you aren't disappointed. And also for these events, it's really important that they get the money behind them um, in, the, in the early days and, and not just on the door. So go and get your tickets, guys. Don't be disappointed and come along. It's going to be a blast. So many YouTubers, as I said, that I want to meet and who I met last time and we're going to have some beers and it's going to be a real big social event i really can't wait for that really really buzzing and um, so there's the updates for there as i just mentioned there's some nice pickups i haven't done a pickups video in a while these are all pretty much facebook a lot of sega boys which is what we want um, and first up i think we're going to start with genesis and the first game up is this this came up on retro realm in a bundle of games I was only interested in the Genesis game, and that is Warriors of Rome 2. I don't know anything about this. It looks like a kind of strategic game, but instantly I'm interested because it's, a, um, it's an exclusive. And you know me, I'm after the exclusive games. And he done me a great price. This was seller Adam Brailsford. Cheers, Adam. This is out. I promised you I'd give you a shout out. And he done me a fantastic deal. 14 pounds all in, I think it was. And I've, I checked it recently on eBay and it goes for a lot more than that. And for a Genesis game, all oh, the carts round the wrong way. Tootie's gonna get in a mood about that. I'll just put that right, Tootie. Um, <laughs> the, um, for a Genesis game, this is actually in really good condition. I find it really tough. I don't know if you guys do, but when I pick up Genesis games, they tend to be in pretty average condition. I've never picked up a Minter. That is my mission. I want an absolute Mint Genesis game, which I've yet to achieve. But no, this is in overall okay condition. And like I say, it's like a strategy sort of style of game. And it's one to add to the wall, and I'm really chuffed with that. Thanks again, Adam. A fantastic deal, mate. And then next up, I've got to give him a shout out as well. It's Ali Hogg. The Retro Hunter, he has a shop down in Leon C, which I'm hoping to visit really soon um, over the coming weeks and I'm going to do a shop tour because I've said to myself, you know, to do some different things with the channel, I'm going to see if I can do a few shop tours, see how far afield I can get and just go around and chat with the owners and, you know, have a bit of banter with them and, and show off their store's wares, you know, that's, that's the plan anyway. And I've been chatting to Ali and he advertised this on one of the groups. And that is Top Gear 2. Now, what made me drawn to this straight away is, one, it's an exclusive. And two, I did not know that this was on the Mega Drive. Now, I can remember in a past, I'm sure it was a Ninten Nintendo Arcade video, Alex video, where he mentions Top Gear 2 on the SNES, on the Super Nintendo, and how it's a fantastic game. So, I've picked this up. Um, on the Mega Drive, um, on the Genesis, and really chuffed Ali Dummy, a great price on this. The manual is typical Genesis condition, which is what I've said previously, that cartridge again is round the wrong way. Um, yeah, it's a bit dog-eared. It's all there though, in not too bad nick. The box is very nice, in good condition, and it's an exclusive, and I'm intrigued. I've been playing this, guys. Put this in last night, I've been playing it again today, and it's a really solid game. It's It's got a real nice sense of speed. It's got um, power-ups you can upgrade as well as you go around the races, where you finish is like the money you get. Um, there's also power-ups on the way, you can get nitros, you can collect extra cash. There's loads of obstacles in the road. It kind of reminds me a bit of Lotus Turbo Challenge, if you remember those games. They were released also on the Mega Drive and the Amiga I fondly remember them from. It kind of reminds me of that a little, um, but a bit more arcadey feeling. There's a lot more obstacles in the road. And another thing I really like about this game is it's got the damage mechanic. Some really cool crashes, some right spin outs, 
and things like that and it all has an impact on how you race you've got a, um, um, an indicator of your car on the screen and it will show you the areas of the car that's damaged now the only thing I was a little disappointed with is there's no in-game music but they seem to have really focused on the sound effects really quite realistic sounds of overtaking skidding and engine sounds which I suppose you know maybe the Mega Drive couldn't handle both but a fantastic game and I'll be interested to know now Alex what this is like on the Super Nintendo mate but it's a real solid game and I've had a right blast with this really enjoyed it so fantastic and I'm chuffed sick to have that in the um, Sega wall nice one Ali and then now we're gonna go on to some Mega Drive games God, I've got to have a drink it's roasting in here guys I've had to shut all my windows because out the back there's someone hedge cutting and they have been all day and out the front I think they're having a bit of a party I'm not really sure but I can smell a barbecue so my mouth's watering a little and oh there's loads of noise going on so I thought I'll shut the windows for this film and I am burning up oh that's better <laughs> right where were we yeah some Mega Drive buys now guys and this one I don't know I'm in two minds of it let me show you and that is Normie's Beach Babe Orama. Now this game has been on my radar for a long time now. This game just does not appear very often on, on eBay, Facebook. You just don't see this game. And it, it's been one I've been trying to get now for, for months, for a long, long time. And um, this turned up originally on eBay um, it started at $24.99 and then um, it was like a bid and a best offer. So I put a cheeky best offer in of £20 and he refused that straight away. Um, it didn't sell, no one bid on it and it or, it or he pulled the, the post because it appeared again, buy it now, for £20. Um, so. I was in there straight away and purchased it for 20 quid. Now you're thinking, 20 pounds, Normie's Beach Bay Barama. Now there's a reason why this was only 20 pounds and my cheeky bid. The condition is not great. It's got a label stuck there, which I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get that off. And the, the inlay's not too bad. It's got a little bit of fading on the side and I'm more than happy with that, but it's got no manual in there guys which uh, that is a bummer but this was 20 pounds and it's got a sticker on the cart which I don't think that was highlighted in the eBay listing so that's a bit of a bummer it's an X rental it's got the blockbuster um, barcode on the back there and it's still got them god awful stickers that are a nightmare to get off um, on there so overall it's a tatty old state and my goodness I smoked a few um, camels or Marlboros this one it absolutely reeks so I'm gonna have to do my little trick I don't know if you guys know this but what I do is when I get a game that smells of smoke now I'm an ex-smoker I vape um, and Christ I can smell cigarette smoke especially stale smoke an absolute mile off as soon as I opened the jiffy bag for this I could smell it but there's a trick to get rid of this and it works for me. All you need to do is um, take it all out of its shell, give that a good wash, um, let it obviously dry before you put everything back. And then what I do is I put the, um, the game case, and cartridge, manual if you've got one, I'll put them in a box with some tumble dryer sheets. Remember them old fashioned tumble dryer sheets that your mum used to use to make the tumble dryer smell nice? They work guys. Go to the cheap shops, go and pick up a pack of them, put them in overnight, maybe a, a couple of days, and they smell so much better afterwards. So there's a, there's a little tip, there's a Sega zombie tip for you there, guys. But yeah, that's gonna need that treatment definitely because it, it does smell. An interesting game, this. Kind of very Amiga PC-esque style game by the looks of it. I've not had yet had a chance to get it because it's only just arrived. And yeah, a great one to add, and it will be a good stopgap until a nice minty one comes along, or at least one that's complete. And so yeah, real chuff to add that to the wall. 
And then next up, um, my good friend, my Scottish brother, David Jameson. Um, <laughs> I message him quite a lot and he knows I've been a bit low lately and you know, the job situation and things like that and life in general. He sent me a little gift and I couldn't believe this. Really has cheered me up. These arrived this afternoon. Really chuffed with these, mate. Um, I was speaking to him, telling him that I've got a few Genesis games which are actually um, available here at PAL. And I ticked them off on my PAL set. And um, <laughs> I haven't got them PAL. So I've been busy sorting that out. And he said, well, I've got Clax. So he sent me Clax completely free. A gift, mate, to cheer me up. Chuffed with that, mate. Um, it's not got the manual, but I don't care about that. Um, I'm sure I can pick a manual up at some point. Clax, to be quite honest, is not one of my favourite puzzlers. Um, but, you know, it's one I've got to add to the wall to finally get there with that set. And thank you so much, David. But it doesn't stop there. He sent me another game, and that is Dragon. The Bruce Lee story. Absolutely chuffed with this i've only ever played this on the atari jaguar i do own it on that it was a game that i had back in the day and look at that guys it's absolutely minty i'm absolutely chuffed to bits with that dave and this is getting a blast tonight i've got some pals coming around very soon and um we're gonna have a blast on this i'm gonna make them play this um on our retro night tonight so really looking forward to that and thank you so much david that's really cheered me up, mate. Can't wait to give that a blast. And that leads us next onto a blue spine, guys. Yes, another blue spine down. The only one in this pickups. It's starting to get a little tougher now with these blue spines, but this is one that I wanted for a while. Now, I was disappointed there's a story to tell um, on Galaxy Sega. Just of late, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but Facebook has been playing up. Now, I'm very busy and active on Facebook. I get lots of notifications being the admin on Realm and Galaxy Sega, and I seem to be missing so much. I don't think my app on my iPad is actually up to date and that it's showing every post that's coming up. And I was gutted with this one that I missed, and that was Wolverine's adamantanian rage is it i don't know and yeah this was posted it sold straight away for an absolutely great price because again this is not perfect and i was gutted i missed it i was like how did i miss that on galaxy sega well anyway cut a long story short the guy wasn't happy with this um, that purchased it of chris chris longfellow was the guy and um, he's a fantastic seller. I've bought loads of Chris over the years. And he said, yeah, I've had Wolverine return to me because um, the seller wasn't happy. And he said it smelt of smoke. And I was like, wow, mate, thinking of my little tip, guys. I said to Chris, well, I'll definitely have it, mate. He's, uh, Chris said to me in, in Messenger, I've smelt it. I really can't smell smoke on it. Um, I'm willing to let it go for the same price that I paid. He done me a fantastic deal on it. And um, it turned up literally about a day or two later. He sent it really quickly. It come through and like I said, ex-smoker, this does not smell of smoke. I think the guy just changed his mind, I don't know. But the reason why it was a fantastic price is it's got a tear in the front cover, guys. The only thing that lets this down Apart from that, it's in absolutely fantastic condition. And for these blue spines, as we know, guys, the labeling can be an issue, but no, it's absolutely fine. No issues with that at all. Really happy with that. It is just a little tear in that front cover, half the cover missing. But for the price, you know, this game is hitting big money at the moment, at least 50, 60 pounds. You'll pay for this on CEX and eBay. And the price that Chris dummy, absolutely fantastic, Chris. Really chuffed with that and so glad that I didn't actually miss out on it. And it is going to sit proud in the, in the blue spines in the, in the Sega wall, Chris. Absolutely. It's all oh, buzzing. I don't know what it is, but whenever I get a blue spine, I'm like, yes. So, yep, that's Wolverine done. 
Um, not had a chance to play that yet, so really looking forward to that. And that will be another game that we play tonight on our Retro Games Night. Really looking forward to that. Load of mates have decided to come over because of my tough week and we're just going to have a right laugh. Um, and that leads us on to another Facebook purchase. Another little mini bundle here of Mega Drive games. And wow, what a fantastic price um, that I got on these. And first up, it's an upgrade and that is Super Fantasy Zone. I have already got this, but it's got a reproduction cover. Um, the one I've got, which I knew about at the time, and it didn't have its instructions. This one is absolutely minty. It's in absolute spanking crisp condition. I'm, I'm chuffed to bits with that. And um, when the guy showed me the pictures, I was just like, well, definitely I'll have that one. And this game sort of really fluctuates in price. And the price he done me for this little bundle is fantastic. So really chuffed to have Super Fantasy Zone in the collection. My nostalgia more is with the Master System version, but I'm really going to give um, Fan Super Fantasy Zone a bit more of a blast on the Mega Drive, I think. And yeah, really chuffed to upgrade that in the Sega wall. And then another game that you don't see that often and a kind of blue spine, I suppose, is Champions World Class Soccer. And forgive me, guys, if I'm wrong, but this one you don't see that often. I don't see this one pop up anywhere um, much on eBay or the groups. And again, this guy's games were in absolutely fantastic condition. Clean as a whistle. And yeah, really chuffed with this one. Um, look at that absolutely minty really chuffed with that one and then finally a simpsons game i've still got a couple more simpson games to get but another simpsons game down and that's the simpsons bart's nightmare now this one is all complete as well guys not as in spectacular condition as the other two but still pretty damn good um, a game I've never played, and I'm really chuffed, again, to add that to the Sega wall. And do we class that one as a blue spine as well? Yeah, why not? It's got a blue edge spine. Might not be the same colour, but that's a blue spine in my eyes. Um, absolutely chuffed to bits with those three. I think it was around about £40, if not even less. I really can't remember. It was 30 or 40 pounds I paid for those, and I thought that was a fantastic deal. Absolutely chuffed to bits with that. So there is still some really good bargains to be had out there on the groups, guys, so make sure you check it out. But yep, fantastic, really over the moon with those. That's it of the Sega. Um, a game I picked up, this was quite a while ago now. I think it was pretty much just after the last pickups video. And that was a GameCube game. Now, I'm really wanting the first one of these because it was a launch title. Um, but this was not cheap. This was about £6 posted. And that is Super Monkey Ball 2. Now, £6 posted, you know, it's probably cost him a couple of quid at least to post it. It has got some damage, which I didn't know about, to be quite honest. It's got some sticker damage on the spine there, which is a little bit annoying. The case isn't great. But the manual and the disc are absolutely perfect. There's nothing wrong with those at all. I absolutely loved Super Monkey Ball. It was kind of a surprise hit launch game. I can remember going into game at the midnight opening, going to get my um, Nintendo GameCube. Yes, I bought a Nintendo console on launch. <laughs> yes, Alex. And um, it was, yeah, I absolutely loved the GameCube. And, um, you know, the Dreamcast was dead by then. Um, or on its last legs, the GameCube come out. I went for Super Monkey Ball, the original. I remember having such a blast on that. All of us absolutely loved that game. Super Monkey Ball 2, I, I did go and buy that as well when it first came out and I really enjoyed it. So I can't wait to pick up the first one and I'm sure again, this game's gonna get a play tonight. I absolutely love um, Super Monkey Ball. A great series. I suppose in the end, I think Sega overdone the series really and people tired of it but 
The first few games for this were absolutely fantastic. And to me, I prefer the GameCube versions. It just seems to suit the machine really, really well. And a fantastic game, really chuffed to put that in the collection. And then finally, something a bit different. I'm not sure if this sale's still on, but um, I sold my Atari 2600 collection quite a few years ago now. And I kind of regret selling some of the games, but I sold the whole collection in one go to a collector in Poland. And um, I kind of regret certain games that I let go because um, they have real nostalgic um, value and hopefully maybe one day I'll be able to pick those up. But I don't have any means of playing the 2600 um, and I was looking to get one of these like flashback consoles or something like that. Um, and there was a portable handheld one which was kind of pricey I thought. It was, it was 60 quid to buy and it's this one the Atari Flashback Portable. Now, um, Argos were doing a sale, and I believe that sale's still on, guys, so check it out. There's loads of the Flashbacks and some of the um, Sega and Atari Flashback consoles and handhelds in their sale if they're your thing. I got this solely because it has an SD card slot in it, so you can add your own games. And also it comes packed with 70 games, and what's really interesting also is it's got some of the homebrew games on there. You know, some of the Atari has got a, it's got a massive following and a huge scene in the States. And there's still lots of games being produced and released for the Atari. And some of them are really intriguing and interesting. I know there's a Sonic the Hedgehog game, which I'm going to hopefully get the ROM for that and load it up onto here. Um, this worked out at $27.99 which I thought was a good price. It's the usual fare for this sort of thing. Quite cheap presentation. It comes with the wire that you need to charge it, <clears throat> but it doesn't come with the wire to hook up to the TV. So bear that in mind, guys. You'll have to get that separate. Um, I've charged it up. I've given it a bit of a blast, but it's still got the protector on it. Um, and yeah, I might do a, if you guys are interested, I might do a, um, a first impressions or you know one of my little console and um, videos on this first look at it I might do a little video on that and um, just let me go if there's any interest guys I'll do it but um, you know I thought I'd just show it in this pickups video and I want to get hero that's the game I want after um, Alex coming round and we spoke about the Atari 2600 as that being one of the first consoles that I ever had because it was given to our family um, I had quite a few games for the Atari that I'm really fond of. You know, it was a 70s console and I got it in the 80s, you know, and um, yeah, it was a hand-me-down, but I loved it. I adored games on there and Hero was one of my favorite. So I'd love to play Hero on this. Really looking forward to doing that and um, yeah, getting some ROMs downloaded onto this. So that's it, guys. That's the um, pickups and this this week this month so far um, I hope you're enjoying all the content guys there's going to be plenty more videos to come I've got so many ideas and I'm going to really chuck myself into the channel to keep my mind off other things I think and um, yeah again a massive thank you to you all for all your support on the channel the views the likes and the subscribers it's absolutely fantastic and hopefully I'll see you guys real soon. I'm Sega Zombie. Goodbye.